everybody, Orphania. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet after quite some time has passed doing the Teal Mask DLC. It is now time for the Indigo uh, Disc DLC. Um, I meant to record this yesterday, but uh, the last part of Mario RPG uh, took longer than I would have liked to upload. So, yay. <laughs> That's why I haven't gone around to recording this till now. Anyways, I believe I should add DLC. Yep, we got a phone call immediately. This is Clavel. Do I have a pleasure to speak with Master Orphan? Hi. My mind certainly does. Does this old heart good to be greeted with such a lively response? Now, if I could take but a moment of your time, there's something we must discuss. You're about to be presented with an excellent opportunity. You already know of one of the universe reasons, Blueberry Academy, I presume. Of course. Heard that all about in the DLC with the trailers and whatnot. Tales of School trip to Kitagami with the Blueberry Core you'd see from my office. And his director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine. He told me that he'd be delighted to host you as an exchange student at his school. I have a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. Why don't you always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? But I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Still, I think it's best that you meet the man at least once to find out what he might be thinking. He is admittedly a bit of a character. I'm going to actually up the volume for you guys because the way I'm recording this is a bit different than normal because during the Mario RPG remake at the end, I had times where OPS and Elgato like desynced when I was trying to um, re record. Like there were times where it's like I seem to have lost like minutes of footage for whatever reason. It was odd. So the way I'm recording it now, that shouldn't happen and I should be all synced up. So it's going to be a little bit weird not. I mean, there when you meet him. What's your radio response? I'll ask that you come to my office. We can discuss the specifics together. I won't take up any more of your time. Do take care until we speak again. Great. Sorry about that. It took me way too long to figure out how to use the map again. Also, we are probably way ridiculously overleveled for this. Uh, of course we are, because these DLCs cannot balance their goddamn game from it. Like, we are probably going to kick everything's ass. I'm probably going to be looking around for a lot of Pokemon. Do something because I like Nova Pokemon a lot. Because I might switch things up just to make things a little more balanced, but still, I'm probably going to be sweeping this. Ooh, what do we have here? Who do we have here? I know I've seen your face somewhere. Who are you again? Uh, name's Horfade. Oh, that's right, you're Horfade. Yes, yes, I know you. Well, then, now you're here. Let's get going. Wait, wait just a moment, Director Cirano. Hello there, Veli. You're always as lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Of course, Director's Academy, where else would I be? And do you adjust me more properly while students are present, would you? More importantly, what are you doing out here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped my mind. Anyway, this is, what's the matter? This is a student, right? Well, yes, he is, but... I do apologize, Master Lurvay. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Cyrano Blueberry Academy. As my not phone, he is interested in accepting you as an exchange student. That's me, Director Sierra. Uh, did I not mention that? Well, look at our young friend here makes me spec. You indeed failed to clarify that point. Speaking of which, why did you request Master Warfare specifically to take part in your exchange program? Excellent question, Belly. It's very simple. You see, the reason is... Uh, why did I put in that request? Oh, that's right. The school trip to Kitagami. Warfare met some of my students there, didn't he? Yes. Yes, yes, one of them is named Carmine, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling about you. I'm glad to hear that, Director Cirano. I just love you to visit my school. You would be a breath of fresh air, uh, so to speak. Well, if anything can be said about Director Cirano is that he has a keen eye for talent. I'd be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. I think there's a chance to further expand upon your treasure hunt. I wish you could accompany me, Master Horafe, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over him in my stead. You will watch over him, won't you? Of course. I never let anything happen to one of your students. Hope the experience leads you to even more tre than you can treasure. Best of luck to you. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head to my Blueberry Academy. I am ready right now. Ready to kick off your studies abroad? Yes. Great, right, then let's get going. I am ready. Back to the Innova region. The Hidden 
treasure up area zero. Part two, the Indigo Disc. And there's apparently going to be an epilogue released on January 11th, so yay. Ooh. Ooh, this music. Ta-da! We're here! On my Grand Blueberry Cat. Actually, just to get into the school itself, mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? No, I hate that. I hate, I hate the ocean. Did you notice? Look at how blue the place is. I can't, I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Let's see, what else? Perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me. Uh, why is the rest of school underwater? Really? That's what you're curious about? Well, it's very simple. You see, it's, uh... It's because the school building is attached to an undersea plant that develops natural resources, right? That's what I've heard. Yes, right, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh, no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do. Orphadier is part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, eh? Hold on, there's the exchange student from the Paldea region. I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Lacey, one of the second-year students here. You must be really something special, you know? Now for Director Sierra to remember the name of a new student. Just call me out, why don't you? Actually, I got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? If you want me to do it? Well, yeah, you know this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I mean, there must be someone more suitable than me. Oh, please, don't take it like that. It's not that I don't want to show you around or anything. Director Sierra just had this bad idea of pushing his duties onto me, you see. And it's just not right. Really letting me have it today, aren't you? Yes, said this might be my chance to get to know a new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can. I decided I will take on this task. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this prison to the entrance. On you go. Okay, finally have some control. Oh boy, finally, not just turn around. Jeez, get this, that barbecue I did. Okay. Finally, they have some bit of control in walking around our school. I did not want to talk to the Blossom. Our school, you won't cut if you can't hold your own a Pokemon battle. Don't worry, I think I'll be fine. You're seeing soon people who keep talking about you don't look that strong. Level 77, 83, 83, 83, 84. <laughs> I think I'm good. Man, no matter how many Pokeballs I have, it's never enough. You should do some barbecues. Once you've earned the BP, you can buy some nice Pokeballs. Interesting. So you get, uh, there's a barbecue thing that you get BP for? Okay. This is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. My school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of on battle. Well, the official mess is on the central court right here at the entrance. Any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say you'll be battling more here than any other school. Exactly, goodness I better myself. Dr. Sierra, I think perhaps it's fine if you just leave it to her to me. Still, it's really exciting here with the sea breeze blowing over you, even when no one is battling. You often see students lazing about in the sand. Oh, and there's one of the qualities of our school you'll likely find very surprising. Wild Pokemon sometimes terrestrialize here. Really? It's not anything special someone from Bardea, is it? Terrestrial phenomenon was first discovered in the Paldea region, after all. But we've taken a step further than you and your terror orbs. We developed some neat tech ourselves, so I'm now left to control the terrestrial phenomenon on our own turf. I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? Uh, sir, I think it'll be easier to understand how it all works after we go to the lower level. If you could put a little pit in that thought. Always thinking ahead, that's our legacy. Well, you know what? I think it'd be great if the two of you had a battle. Right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Orphavia is capable of. And at least he's a member of the Elite Four in the Elite Club we have going on here. Then under the influence of her father, one of the Unova Region's famed gym leaders, I may learn a thing or two. Which gym leader? And from which game? Because Black and White and Black 2 and White 2 have separate gym leaders for the most part. I wish you couldn't, wouldn't go around spreading personal information, not asking first. Just not right. Give me a good show now, you two. Sorry, I've been negotiating with Director Sierra once he gets an idea in his head. No way that he'll move on with the tour until we give him his battle. 
Besides, I have to admit that I'm a little excited myself at the chance to value. They're Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double bells, yes! My, I love double bells. Okay, we want to try to get to know each other a little better. Trainer Lacey. Also, Nyan. <laughs> bum bum bum. Suppose I'm representing Blueberry Canyon's pal, trying to disappoint. Oh, nice remix of Black and White's pal thing. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I like this remix. Level 70. Okay, so they're level 70 here. Okay. Ooh, I don't think Mini Chow's crazy here, so I think I'll do that. And then. Power. So do this just to get him in child the field ball to do some damage. God, because uh, I love black and white and black and white too. Although black and white too, I will admit I have not done as much playing as black and white one because there's just so much. I think black and white two probably had some of the most content out of any in the series. It's ridiculous. Both absorb. Oh. At least you're actually trying to use Pulse of Mine in an interesting way, thankfully. Oh, you, would you look at that? You go right after those type weaknesses with precision, don't you? Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Alright. Flower Trick on Pulse. Earth Power on Mine. The thing is, we're paralyzed, so we are so going last. That god. Actually, she's actually attempting to use Puzzle of Mind in an interesting way. It is something I can't say I've seen Double Battles do in a while, damn it. Ugh. Um, Pokemon that would be faster. I don't. I don't feel like I have very fast Pokemon. Uh, Shadow Ball, Earth Power, Lightning Rod. Okay, and then Paralyze. This plus is gonna hurt because the special attack is so high at this point. Jeez. Like, I've, I've let this thing build up its special attack too much at this point. Yep. That sucks. <clears throat> okay, get that puzzle out of the field. Get out of the field. Please. Uh... Looks like my plus mind strategy didn't work, and guess time to go all out with your strength. Hey, it actually was that you at least had ideas better than. Oh, great. Of course, my grass type's down. Ugh. Uh, this could suck because of mining. Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> this could suck because of mining. <laughs> Still being on the field, and in fact, that we're gonna be slower than both. Because Excadrill is really fast and really strong. I would know. I've used an Excadrill before. It's a great Pokemon. God. Open camp. No. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, we're alive. Ah. So close. Get off the field, mine. Get off the field. Okay. Okay. That's gonna take care of my Titan, that's fine. As long as I don't get a full paralysis, I think I'll be fine. Okay, yep, got it. Uh. Uh. 
uh, they actually use more double battle strategies like that, that's going to be interesting because my team is not built for double battles. Well, you beat me soundly. Yeah, my team's not built for double battles. <laughs> this is not Coliseum, okay? Spectacular. You really are quite skilled. And the way you trespass your Pokemon, I can see that living in the home and terrestrial phenomenon taught you so much. Been to your Blueberry Academy, we're only recently at your Terra, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. Well done to both of you. Really, you really battled it out with your style. Speaking of style, I forgot I had a uniform for you. I feel like you'll fit in right as soon as you dress in the park. I actually did want a uniform of this. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah. I definitely like it more than the Paldea School's uniform. Suits you beautifully. Now that's what I call fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. Indigo Style Park. Thank you. That should give you a few more options when you go to shop and salon and such in Paldea. Now that you looked the part and hopefully feel it too, I'm heading to school. Pick where you want to go from the gates over there. Or I can come out and show you the Pride Blueberry Academy, World Fairs Terrarium. Well, before I do that, let's keep my head around the two and rock type studies too. I'm gonna try catching a Rhyhorn in the biome, so it's Rhyhorn here. This court's used for official DB League battles. You see it, you see how packed the seeds get when there's a championship match. Sorry about Lacey, I've never seen someone with some Pokemon before. Right, well, I would actually like to, um, you know, oh god, that's Kitagami. Uh, now that you've given me more stuff for the boutiques and hair salons, I'm gonna go, um, and check out what I can do, what I can buy. I can check out, so I will cut out me doing, uh, all like I'll show it and I'll, whatnot, we'll see how it looks. Also, does that, did that add stuff for the clothes as well and not just like the hairstyles? Don't know, and I gotta remember where I am and where I'm going. I am not in the right section, Miss Uh, now I'm reminded why I usually teleport to the front, uh, to the front doors. And not just the west area. Indigo Stock Park, Quietly Pop Special Stock Collection. Okay. So it does have new footwear and stuff? Yep. It does. I just need my characters. There we go. So it does have stuff. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Whoops, wrong button. I can also go... Oh, God. How do I do this again? God, I forgot how clumsy and cumbersome and confusing these menus are. There is new stuff here. In the glasses shop. Oh, these kind of glasses. Okay. I... Yeah, I will not be wearing those. No, they kind of make me look... I don't know why they kind of make me look... Remind me of Team Cypher. That I don't know. Oh right, the hairstyle I'm, I have fucking doesn't work with. I don't even let you see what it looks like. Ooh, I forgot about that. Right, since the hairstyle doesn't work with that kind of thing, let's take a look at the. Uh, oops. Where is this? <laughs> uh, gloves. Which just look like okay. Uh, I need to find the. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it should give me new hairstyles as well, apparently. So this is, okay, this is the, uh, I mean, this is the indigo stuff with the blue, okay. Great top, wild curls, 
Puzzled Bob. Pokeball Fade. Ha! <laughs> Choppy Bob. Marn Beehive. Oh, ha! <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah, I like the hairstyle I have. I'm not. Eh, the new ones aren't my thing. Okay, there are new bags. There it is, there are new bags. Oh boy, quite a bit, actually. Oh, this kind, okay. Enamel. What am I wearing now? Yeah, I like the one I'm gonna have on now. Uh, I gotta double check something. Oh, and tracksuit. Okay, so they do give me different stuff. Tracksuit, winter, autumn, summer, spring. Okay. I think I actually like the tracksuit the best. <coughs> cool. Uh, when I wasn't there, I, I one more thing I want to check. I think I've checked almost everything, but there's one more thing I want to check. Uh, I don't know if... I might have to go to a different town. Oh yeah, socks. Not that I don't think... Not that I think I'll be, they'll be able to really be seen here. Yeah, by color. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really see thanks to the tracksuit stuff. Going to Le Levi Levincia, however you freaking pronounce it. <sighs> Whenever it loads. Wow, I actually thought this would load faster for some reason. Here, oh god, I'll turn around. Because they always have different stuff to buy depending on where you are. Kid, everything can't just be in one goddamn store, no. Stuff even here is different, oh god sakes. Ay, ay, ay. Like ridiculous. Not that my hairstyle really works with this, Jesus. Care about God, it depends on where you go. Jeez, it's ridiculous. Uh, which means I might not have seen like the Kitagami stuff here either. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't seen these. Jeez. Pink shoes. Shoes. Okay. <sighs> Don't think this matters with the um, clothes I'm wearing. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I can't see it. With the tracksuit. Uh... <laughs> Isn't there more shopping stuff around here? God. Like, isn't there more? Oh, 
if I actually knew where to go. Vera, Vera, whatever this says, Jesus. Yeah, you're really freaking expensive. Yeah, it's so great. Oh yeah, and these kind of gloves. Again, ridiculously expensive. Oh, these are different. Classic, but ah. Uh, that is really small, but <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Okay. Sweatband. Sweatband's actually. <laughs> you can kind of see a little bit here. Very interesting. Okay. And what's this store? Nothing. It's so big. I, I... Pokemon! There's obviously a lot of stuff that needs to be improved in your games. A lot. One of the things you should improve if you're going to keep this customization up is to just let us be able to buy everything from one damn store. Instead of having to wander around like a freaking lunatic. I go different places. Jeez, it's ridiculous. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Heart glasses. Love master sunglasses. Huh. Half moon glasses. Those kind of, ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> I see. Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this stuff is not just in one store. Like, yes, I get it. The list would be long, but like, Jesus. Running around all this way is a pain. Uh, Two-way nylon backpack. Oh, that's actually real. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Piles. <laughs> I think this is what happened at the start of the triangle backpack. Oops. There we go. Ooh, <laughs> it's got a little Pikachu thing on there. Pattern 1, pattern 2, and pattern 3. Okay. I do like what I have on though. Can at least say that. What is this? Cerdo style. And then these helmets and whatnot that I can't wear. Riding gloves. Oh my god. <laughs> Riding gloves. Jeez. You kind of get the idea of what these look like at this point. Shiny purple. And then trainer gloves. Ghost, ground, rock, okay. Ice. Fairy, I get it. And then... Is that all here? No, there's a hairstyle place. They they better not have different hairstyles depending on the city. I actually just saw that. Do they have different hairstyles depending on the city? Oh my god, I just realized that. That would be so dumb. Okay, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I was about to say I would be maybe a bit pissed if that was the case because oh my god. Because I just realized, because this is so unintuitive to, to do menuing and then to change your look. Oh my god, it's so unintuitive compared to like other Pokemon games. Or heck, other games with customization anyways in them. Not this Pokemon. It just feels so not great. God. And I believe that there was one other place in Haldea that, yeah. 
Casa Cas whatever. And this place also has different clothing as well, and it would obviously be changed. God damn it. We are we haven't even truly started the DLC yet, but I'm just backtracking one not to show the to show the um uh, the clothing on the new clothing on and see if there's stuff I like. And like <laughs> Since this stuff is going to be pretty much near the end of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Let's Play here, uh, I do want to use this as my time to get my big grievances with this game out of the way. It's like the last time I'm going to be talking about this stuff. <sighs> yep, more art classes. But, okay, so these are the same. Crown Panto. So, oh, these are different. Crown Panto. Huh. Interesting. And then these are just the hard glasses. Yeah. So the hard glasses aren't the same. And these triangle back diamond up, they all seem to be fairly the same. So some stuff doesn't super change, which is good. I didn't have some stuff that I probably won't be able to wear. Yeah, it's the I'm done stuff I can't wear with the hairstyle. And then this doesn't have any new like bad patches stuff with the DLC, right? I would hope not. It does. Oh, the tights that I won't be able to see because of the tracksuit. That's actually not helpful. Oh, these are new. Really bad patches. Expensive as well, too. Oh, okay. I do actually kind of like this style of backpack. And then, what do these look like? Whoa, these are a bit more fancy. I actually do like these style of backpacks. They do look kind of neat. Buy this one. And then of course I can't show off the hats because of oh my God. <laughs> Fedora. Straw Fedora. Interesting. And then these are awesome. They do have different gloves. Oh boy. Oh boy. So these are what the trainer gloves look like. Oops. All they really do is change the stripe on that with the color. Okay. Although these are apparently a bit different. Okay. Four, swirl five, swirl six. Okay, and then gloves for the different um, types. They forget dark type. I don't think it's the only type they forgot. I don't think steel type's on there. Interesting. And then let me get it. Okay, this is just a hit. I just wanted to jump down, not take the whole freaking. <sighs> Seriously, game. Oh, 
Hi guys. Rough and tough, this is another shopping place. Okay, so these are the same. These are the same. These are the same. This is the same. These are different. There's new, not that you'll be able to see it. And then socks that you won't be able to see either. Because, of course not. But there is new ones, oh my god. Yeah, because it's just what I'm wearing. Was there a shoe store here? Did we come across a shoe store? I can't remember. I want to say we did, but I'm going to double check. Pokemon? That's a must spam. Can I see how friendly you and your Pokemon are? Which Pokemon can I have a look at? Well, my starter, obviously. I see how the fuzzy mascot are. Get along well, I'm sure you can get way more friendly. Really? That's my starter. Not friendly or interesting. Probably lost a few battles. Probably failed a few battles. Yeah, I think it did. Okay. I think I checked everything I really wanted to. So not Kitagami. Or Kami. I would I would like to. Thank you. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's actually, <coughs> let's actually freaking do this, let's actually see Blueberry Academy. I'm Blueberry Academy, get a school facility to the gates on the other side of the desk. Okay. Where do you want to go? Terrarium. Is it the park beneath the sea that has gained renown around the world? A very own terrarium. Terrarium. What I don't, I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. We may be underwater, but the projectors built in the wall until they make you feel we're actually outside, don't they? We've been able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon through technology. I designed this myself, and believe me, it wasn't cheap. Within this dome, there are four distinct biomes. Here we have the nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome. <laughs> and off to your right, you'll see the breezy tropical coastal biome. Further out to your left, you'll see the craggy, crunchy, rugged canyon biome. With tons of popping textures and stuff. Sorry. Gonna talk, gonna say just, uh. Last but not least, way on distance, we have the Arctic and Snowy Polar biome. Each biome's air temperature and many of those are regulated with the utmost care. That's why you can find completely different Pokemon species living in each area. You sure put a lot of effort into it. Tell me your favorite, which biome took us your fancy off the belt? Ooh. Let's just. I'm gonna just start with Savannah. Very familiar sort of environment. I'm gonna start to land make it very easy to serve out Pokemon are living. If you need to heal your team while you're down here, feel free to use self serve healing machines to install around Terrarium. Yay, I like the design of those. Okay, I like the design of those. Now, the director, I don't know if you can play those Y crystals from here and how. form here and how the wild Pokemon are able to terrestrialize. <laughs> don't you know already, Lacey? That, oh, I get it. You want me to do talking. Okay, so let me show you. Reason's actually right above our heads. That there is the terrarium court, which resides over all that happens all that happens in the terrarium. It contains a fluid that we've jam-packed full of the special material from Padea. It's constantly emitting terrestrial energy that which allows Pokemon terrestrialize in the dome. Wonderful, well said, sir, that's exactly right. 
I still don't know what this special material is within the terrarium core itself. I haven't seen it publicly, has it? If you want to know, well, in fact, it's... it's... <sighs> now what was it? I plum forgotten. And Briar put it all together, so I'm not certain myself. That's what I thought you might say. Bing bong, bing bong. A dead body has been discovered in no, a wrong game. Practical style class commence sorely in the coastal biome. Who's participating in this class should make their way to the coastal biome now. Looks like it doesn't have to be a class session, too. This is too good a chance to pass up. Only join our fate and give your first taste of school classes. I do not see that sort of passion for education. I'll go ahead and register the terrarium map to the Roton for you. It's fun to take a stroll through the terrarium on your own. I think it'd be more of a hassle if my hair wasn't being a dick. Why is it being like this with my ears? God. I think it'd be more of a hassle than anything if you had me holding your hand. So yep, that sells it. Please find your way to the class site and coastal biome on your own. Well, that doesn't seem like I'm needed here. Wait, sir, you don't... I made sure that door room is all set up for you worth it, so don't forget to give it a visit later. Oh, yes, and another thing. Could you open your Pokedex app for me? So, yep, update the Pokedex. Catch my Pokemon here in Terrarium as you please. Don't be afraid to go sauce buck wild. I assume life here at Blueberry Academy is going to live it up to your fullest. And there he goes. Well, you can at least count on me to be around when you need me, sir. No call concern. Probably tell me both head to class. I'll be waiting for you joints in the coastal biome. Give me one moment. Yes, okay, hi. Yes, okay, there's... Okay, I gotta do something. Hold on, be right back. Alright, I'm back, and there's a the duo running in front of me. Hi! Oh! Boom, boom! Wanna ba boom! Oh, that's super nice! Boom, boom! Wanna ba down! Boom, boom! Oh, it's a nice remix! Oh, that's a nice remix! No duo was caught. His twin heads have exactly the same gene and in perfect sync with each other. Alright. I see someone here! Hello. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I know you're from somewhere? That's right, my old partner. How are you, partner? I mean, oh. Orphan. Oh, Perrin. <laughs> Do I know you? That's an option. That's right, Gil Baron is still kicking around. You're doing well yourself, eh? I sure appreciate all the help you gave me back in Kitagami, dragging down the Blood Moon Beast. Never thought I'd just bump into you like this. How do I teach you a new post to celebrate? Looking good, emo from her. Oh, but what about Crawl and I trust you? Is he doing alright? Let me put him on your teams and not do a bit of adventure in the other. So you're some sort of exchange student. Ah, huh, nice. Well, for one I just started working here as a photographer, of course. That's amazing. Pretty much is, right? I'm still sort of waiting here at the school likes my work, to be fair. They say they want snaps out the terrarium and students all for upcoming marketing stuff. How about some photos of you? I got a hot tip I could lay you in on. But I told you about you just go running right off. How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching time to put them on terrarium. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. If you make enough headway in my work by the time you register, say 200 Pokemon in the Blueberry Pokedex, I'll show you a hot tip. Oh, I gotta catch a lot. Okay. There, yeah. So we can change this and we can do emo. What was it? The sh emo, the Eureka Pokeball. Looking good. That's the new one. Interesting. Okay. So I haven't really done these. <laughs> I haven't really done these. <laughs> huh? Ah, uh, that's kind of cool. I haven't really shown these all, but I knew immediately how to get to it. <laughs> uh, if you just see next to me, you can get pulling up in Jiffy. Yep. Alright, let's go. Students can't even challenge the Elite Four until they're high enough rank in the BB unit. The face members of the Elite Four on the battle court are plazas. Okay. I think I probably. I think I've already caught Chansey. I'm not too worried about that. 
How about a double bow? Why are you gonna double bow so I can test out that theory by bowing me? Can't fight Darius the student. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> wow, flying types against my fighting type. That's not good. Immediately just tell you that's not good. Okay. Uh. Bounce. Go back, yep. Uh, yeah, I figured that would be the case. Really, the dog duo? Miss. Cup six. The duo's pretty frail, yeah. I've almost dealt with them entirely. Paralyzed. So hopefully that means that Coco will be faster. Probably not. The duo's pretty fast. Oh, but it couldn't move, so we're fine. Of course, you will freaking avoid the attack again! Oh my god! The point is for you to die, don't. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Uh. Get out of here, the duo. Yeah, goodbye. You're not telling me twice. Your nace is all bounce. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, I don't want to do this. Probably switch. Nope. In position. In position. Ryorn, come here. Come here. That works. I need to help. Uh, I need to catch Pokemon for the Pokedex, so. Boom, boom, boom. Well, it's gonna be hard to get to Pokemon when I'm so high leveled against them. That's like, how do I even deal damage to them without, like, <laughs> killing them? I mean, that's fine. God, this feels. Oh, God, man. Steel type, that's fine. God, this Oh, this music's so good. Boom, 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 boom. Sweet kiss. Come on. Mega Horn's not gonna do anything. I'm literally going to heal it off. Uh. So we can't miss. Oh my god, miss again. Jeez, come on. Alright, can we stop missing with the sweet places? I wanna catch the Pokemon for the Pokedex. I'm not gonna use Rockborn, even though Rhyperior is kinda nice. But I'm not gonna use it. If I wanna use Pokemon, I kinda wanna use a Nova Pokemon. Oh god, do not hit, do not hit! One, two, three, There were six mile races territory. Apparently forgot where his territory is when running, however. Oh, by Brava. Boom, ba da ba boom. Cool, perfect. 
But it's dragon, it's dragon ground type, I think. It means fairy, it's actually, yeah, putting on a fairy pet so it doesn't use any dragon moves is a good idea. Although that's still a thing I need to worry about. Is that a spring sauce buck back there? And I know it's a sauce buck and not a dearling, because dearlings are smaller. I'm not gonna use sauce buck because I already have a grass type for my starter, and I kinda wanna just keep the starter there. In the ball. One, two. <sighs> Come on. Earthquake is not great. Jeez. Uh, this first part is gonna be like. This first part has just been getting ready for the story stuff. Well, not. Geez, it's just a bit of setup, I guess. That's fair. Up. Rather than using a thunder to wing to fly, it erupts in the air, emitting ultrasonic waves to attack its enemies. Into the box you go. Because I do not have trap inch. Mm. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I feel like I already had Cypher. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is your line. When did I already have Deerling? Okay. I only already had a Deerling. A trap inch that I know I don't have. One, two, three. Come on. Get your defense up. I also see a smeargle back there. One, two, three. Can I, you're hitting three twice. Come on. Get in the ball. One, two, three. Thank you. Pokemon lives in air and deserts, painting away to bring inside its funnel shaped nest. Cool. In the box you go. Do I have an exit? I don't think I have an exit. Or an executor or anything like that. No, I do not. Okay, wow, you immediately broke free. Oh, right, psychic, right, psychic, I should switch. Execute have a bit of a higher catch rate. I might use. Oh, well, first of all, Thunder Wave. And then I'll probably start checking Great Balls instead of Pokeballs because I think it has a bit of a higher catch rate. God, the Pokemon are lower level here. I mean, the bad uh, trainers definitely have high levels, but the Pokemon here are a bit lower level than I would have expected. Go. If you touch one of Exude's heads with taking for an egg, the other heads will quickly gather and attack you in a swarm. Cool. Just sleeping sauce block, get it! <laughs> I already have a sauce block. Yeah, it would be feeling a bulge or whatever. 
I had earlier, I don't remember. I don't feel like doing my homework. I don't have homework, so whatever. That being said. Shield on and buy Bravo. Super effective. Project and shield on. Let's see. Great! Obviously. But that did take it entirely out. I did it, and that did kill. Easy! Even be getting beat by you doesn't make me want to go do my homework. Good for you, I don't care. Now we had to go to the coastal area, right? That's not the map. Yes, set as destination. It's already heading in that direction, but whatever. It's fine. I look away for a second to make sure the recording's still good. And this happens, of course. Oh, right! Arena trap! No! Do not press it twice! Oops, I'm Striker! Do I want to add you to my team? Because I do, er, <laughs> it's a Blitzel, but it's also a Striker. That's kind of a thing. Oh, I didn't expect that to- Oops. Again, the problem with being way too damn strong. Oh, it's this thing. The, uh, the realm. Yeah. What are you doing here? Go away. Well, I know it. Well, I know just attacking is just gonna make you faint, so it's time to just chuck balls. God. Uh, I might just go on a catching spree here for a bit, so I might fast forward. Charges firstly while whipping its body with its long tails. Okay, that should be the end of my little fast forwarding for a bit, I would hope. Let's go right here, grab this TM. 
Knock off. Head towards the coastal area where there will probably be more Pokemon to catch. Oh boy. What is in this place? Oh, a, um, one of those things. Oh, creamy, I think? Whatever. When Ty goes out, the hydrate tentacle will be found left behind on the shore. Oh, yes, I get it. This is what happens when I have to record like this. Jesus. Line running down seconds for sunlight, it shines vividly at night. Yeah, apparently. That's why it's a vault. It's called Luminion, which I already have in the Pokedex for some reason. Alright, interesting. And claim a reward of the progress you made in the Pokedex. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Failed, okay. God, it's being slow here. Oh god, the game does not like this ocean area. Oh Jesus. Oh god, I want out of the laggy the laggy ocean area. Oh god, throw the ultra ball. Just to make sure it catches and get me out of here. Oh god. Oh, jeez. Get me out of this laggy-ass ocean area. Oh, my God. That is so laggy. That's really, really bad. Wow. It protects itself from telephones by flashing into luminescent spots to discourage them. Yay. God, it's being so slow. Oh, God, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Get me out. Move, move, move.
It flies around using a hundred different cries in various ways to declare its territory to others. Easy thing to fucking use the Pokedex is really sucking. Which, by God, there's so many fucking buttons. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh my God, this is so. Oh my God, I hate the fucking menuing. In this game, I swear. Yay, please take this friend ball. Turns out he's a dumpster. Ooh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. God. Don't avoid The large upper extended cool car, all of its Pokemon disappear from the surrounding sea. inside Terrium Stone. Is it the same as the sea outside, though? Uh, yeah, cool, whatever. Max Stone, or Corridors. Huh? Turn. I don't need to deal with them like that. Put the Oscarada. Revelation Dance, whatever that is. Doesn't affect me, Oscarada. Revelation Dance. Doesn't <laughs> affect me, Oscarada. Yeah, you turn with the right player there.
This tank is fast and miserable at the sea itself. Alright, well, this is where I'm gonna end this part. I know we didn't do a lot. It was mostly just me setting up for this, but yeah. Mostly just me setting up for the DLC. You'll st we'll definitely be getting a lot further into this next time. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get started to get some <laughs> Pokemon though, and uh, be a lot of cutting there. But yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Hope you have a good day.